Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review. This is a vlog, a short vlog, well hopefully it's short, probably won't be knowing me, but um, it, on the, the session convention, I'm down at the session convention, just going to check my audio's going, uh, in London. So this is going to be quite unedited, it might be a bit flappy, but uh, there you go. Uh, just for those people really who haven't been here, to tell you what it's all about, those people who are here that might want to watch it, and also um, if you see these lectures out of con the context of this session, just trying to give you my opinion on, on what I thought, very, very briefly. Uh, so first of all, as a convention, it's it's great. I've I've got a bit of a problem with conventions. I stopped going to them, and uh, not all of them. That's and I didn't go to that many anyway. But um, I just really got exhausted with this big sell idea. The fact that every lecture I saw, I think the last time I was at Blackpool, which was a few years ago, was just such an exhausting sell. You know, I felt like I was being held against a wall, being shouted at, saying buy my shit. And it was just like, and, and my friend No Quarter says to me. You know, every time he sees me at a convention, by the by the end, I look like a broken man. I've kind of got bags full of crap I'm never going to use, um, full with guilt and shame because I've got no money left, and and just kind of felt battered down. And I'm quite vulnerable to that sort of thing, so I just kind of thought, you know what, I, you know, I'll learn, I'll learn. I'll go to lectures uh, individually, but uh, I'll learn in different ways, and and that's kind of best for me but uh, until now so uh, so I thought I'd start coming back to conventions a session is a good one I always loved the session it always felt a bit different felt more conferency and and obviously it's grown a lot we're down in London now the last time I I was went to it was in Cheltenham and uh, it just it just got a different feel to it so I came in yesterday uh, first of all the design of it everything looks great which does make a difference you know back in the day I remember going to the, you know when you're in uh, sort of a fair Blackpool uh, oh, quite a while ago I'm not judging it now because I haven't been for a long time but everything was just just felt a bit kind of laboured you know the audio visual was okay um, but you're in massive rooms trying to learn card stuff and the screen wasn't that clear and the sound can really hear it and everything I noticed yesterday was just so clear so crisp and that may be the case very much with the other uh, conventions now but just but for this always you know Andy and Josh are very good like I've said before with their books on design and the whole thing's designed to the hilt and I think that does make a huge difference especially if you're at the back of the room watching someone with a deck of cards and it's just clear looks good and the speakers look good on stage and look good on the screens so that's the first thing second thing all the little details like you get a notebook when you get and you get a deck of cards that isn't shit you know it's you kind of feel like you're welcomed uh, and everybody's really friendly and lovely and and so, so that was great. Um, Content-wise, uh, first of all, uh, Andy Nyman was the first. Well, you've got Luke Jermay hosting. And one thing I'll say about that, I've been watching Luke on and off for years, and he, he's always been a good presenta presenter. Presentator? Uh, presenter. But it, I just found that he was so... He's just got that rhythm now. You know that presenter the rhythm where it's really clear, really cut, really crisp, no bullshit. Uh, quite funny, but not trying to be over funny, and so a really, really good MC, which again makes a, makes a huge difference. I remember, you know, some of the MCs we've seen in the past in some conventions have, you know, not really been MCs, just coming on, and that's fine. Don't get me wrong, it's, but if you've got a gala show, you, you need, or or a, or a lecture, or a day's worth of stuff. Um, you need someone that can hold that day together, and Luke did it brilliantly. I, I will say, by the way, the first day yesterday was the event, and this is the, the, the kind of add-on to the session convention, which starts properly today. Now, the event is a mentalism day, and I wasn't going to come to that, but I was in the area uh, working the night before, and I, I decided to add, add, add the extra day. So, so the event was yesterday, which is what I'm talking about. Sorry, I didn't say that at the beginning. But it, I, I thought it was going to feel very mentalism, I mean, it was going to be full of people walking around very serious, but actually it feels just like any other day of the convention, which is a good thing. Um, so Andy Nyman was first up. Who, you know, I could just watch Andy, and I think lots of people said this, Andy is just so comfortable on stage, so self-aware. Um, his, his tricks that he does are simple enough for you to actually learn at a lecture. And that might sound ridiculous, but I think the, the whole lecture system is completely flawed. I think we have to look at it again. And that's kind of what we're doing a little bit here, I suppose. But, you know, this whole do a trick, say how it's done, do a trick, say how it's done, is fine if you're giving loads of information in that how it's done that isn't just the, the process of the trick. And what I mean by that is if you're learning a card trick and you see it performance is a great bit and then you go, right, I'm going to explain this. If you're literally just going through the moves of how to do it, that's great. But I don't really think many people in the world could learn like that, unless you're Rain Man. You can't go and remember all those little details. You have to obviously buy the stuff, and that's fine. I'm not saying when I said before about the big sell that you shouldn't be buying the stuff. I think there's nothing wrong with that. That's great. 
but don't spend too long, you know, telling me how to, every single detail, because we're not going to remember it, unless you've got cards, you know, for me, you know, rooms like this, it, it, a lecture should be 30 people, table in front of you, close up mat, let's go through the free tricks, you know, if you're going to learn, actually learn, but anyway, I'm getting on the eye horse about that, uh, but Andy was brilliant, really lovely, lovely tricks that work and this beautiful simplicity to them and really funny and the bits in between the bits of advice were just amazing one of them being you know read outside of magic you know get outside of magic and people always used to say this to me and i always think oh no it's all about magic but but how important is it that we do talk about other things that we do get inspiration from from other areas and and i'm just sort of mirroring what he said but just so 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 important and, and someone who knows you know um so that was that. Next, it was Luch. I didn't really see Luch's lecture. I think it was geared more around uh, if you're a beginner and you're starting to work professionally, some of the issues you might come across. And I've been doing this far too long. Uh, so I've kind of, you know, learned that the hard way. But I'm, I presume very, very uh, interesting for those of into in that, that stage of their journey. Um, then inspirations. And this is what it's all about for me. And this is why I like the session. And I think Magic Live's a bit like this. It's sort of based around talks, not just about tricks. Um, and this was uh, Josh J, Luke, uh, no, Luke was hosting it, sorry, Josh J, uh, and I'm looking, sorry, because I'm not going to edit this, Max Maven and uh, Michael Weber, just talking about their inspirations and showing old clips of people that inspired them. So, um, Kreskin, Josh was talking about just, oh, this clip that was so hard to watch because he was having a hard time on a TV show, but I'm not going to go into detail. Uh, Max Maven. Uh, was talking about Chankanasta, which was amazing. I've not seen much Chankanasta, so it was, that was brilliant. And, and um, Michael Weber was talking about this thing I'd never seen, which was Dr. Ireland, this old clip of this guy that would cover his face in plasters and do the whole, that whole thing that we've all seen, but in a, you know, in, in a way that everybody was just really convinced by it and really going for it. And, and I'm not gonna go into detail about the content, but really, really lovely, because it wasn't just people showing me tricks and then telling me how to do them. It was people talking from the heart, talking about their passions, and that's, that's the seed of it for us. That's what I walk away inspired at a convention or a conference or something like that. So stories, anecdotes, and passion that you're, you're talking about. Um, and then uh, Jared Kopf, I, didn't, I saw a little bit of that. Um, not really my thing, probably. It was, uh, again, lots of long scripted tricks, know how to do them, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not really, I didn't say this actually, um, I'm not really a mentalist, I'm a card man, so it, it looked really clipped, he, was a, he had a lovely manner on stage, but not really my kind of stuff, so, uh, uh, but next it was Luke Germain, I wanted to see Luke, Luke is um, someone I've, I say I've been watching for a long time, and, and, but I haven't seen his lecture in a long time, and I always felt he held a lot back, and I'm sure there's stuff he holds back, oh, everybody does, but, but for me, back in, way, way back, uh, I felt he was holding a lot back and this, this time I saw him and I felt he was just giving something, he's a lot more generous with his material and there was some real, some real gold in there for me and actually I, I perform a couple of mentalism routines but I don't see myself as a mentalist and watching someone like Luke yesterday made me want to go, I need to do that, I need to go back to that because actually that, this stuff plays really well, I can't do it like him but it just inspires that to me to go back to those Cassidy books and that back to those back to Luke's material, you know, and, and start learning again. So that's kind of what excites me in a convention is when you see things you don't think are going to kick you into any sort of action, and then you are inspired to do something a bit different. Um, uh, and then uh, Ross Johnson, I didn't see the last thing that was uh, mentalism at the card table thing because I was um, drinking uh, a small amount of alcohol. But uh, Ross Johnson, Ross, I'd never heard of Ross Johnson. That's terrible, isn't it? Maybe because I'm not a mentalist. But he, so I didn't know what it was going to be like. And, and he was just someone that is, you know, a, a professional, he's a professional mentalist that's been working for, I don't know, 50 years or something, more, more than that maybe, in, in America. And he, well, all around the world, but um, from Chicago, I think, or lives in Chicago. Uh, and just, it was just lovely to watch a mentalism performance. You know, that isn't a lecture-based mentalism performance. It was a proper mentalism performer doing mentalism in an entertaining way that wasn't trying to be anything other than himself. The character was very much him because he'd been doing it so long. And it was just, I you know, enjoyed mentalism for the first time in a long time as a, as a, as a, as a punter, you know, as a lay person. I sat and watched the show and enjoyed the show. And, and it's been a while, other than seeing people like Darren, I do find the process of mentalism, unless you're you are someone like Luke who's got that kind of charisma. It's, it's a hard sell, all that process. So when you see someone come on that just embodies it 
and does it so well, that again is the inspiration. So uh, longer than I thought, God, we're nearly at 10 minutes now, so well done for watching it. But that's uh, a little rundown. If, if uh, I'll be doing one tomorrow morning uh, as well, so it's all the card stuff today, so that'll be interesting for me. But again, will it work on the, for me in the lecture situation? I don't know. So uh, have a good one. Um, anything I can say that I want you to do, uh, yeah, share it, that'd be good. And um, have a look at Card Magic Course if you want. I'm not really doing the whole big saddle thing at the moment. And uh, have a look at my Instagram, Card Magic Course on Instagram. All right, have a good one. Thanks very much. Cheers.